So you just got your first Mustang. And you decided to race some of your friends. But you realize that shifting is like competing for the Olympic rowing team. And you're just not doing that great. So now you're thinking, you need a short throw. But you don't know which one to get. Fear not, that's what we're gonna talk about today. What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about short throws. We're gonna be talking about three different shifters. Your stock shifter, this bad boy right here, also known as trash. Your Barton short throw shifter. I like this one a lot actually. So we'll set that down right here. And then your super expensive MGW top of the line shifter that we've got right here. Brand new inbox, just for you. So this is the stock shifter. Uh, there's not much to say about it other than it's absolutely trash. Uh, the rows, I mean the shifts, are just so long. It takes you a good hot second to get from any gear to another. Ultimately, don't suggest this one, which is why we're not gonna talk about it anymore. So now you've come to the conclusion that you need a short throw, but you don't know which one to get, and you don't know how much money you should spend. So first we're gonna talk about the Barton short throw shifter. I actually really like this one. Uh, there's two different variations that you can get. One will include this, and one will only include this. The Barton short throw will actually reuse the stock shift linkage, so it's significantly cheaper, especially compared to our MGW, but it does have that kind of side effect, that downside to it. Super easy to install, you just pop the old one off and pop the new one in, just like that. If you opt to go for this extra little beats, I don't remember how much extra it is, but this basically replaces this. This is the bushing of sort that kind of holds in the rear of our thing. This uh, replaces it and it's a lot stiffer, it's firmer, so you have to kind of feel the shifts a little bit better. That's the intent of it. I don't have this on my car, but I do have this on my car currently, and I think this is just fine. I don't, if you want this, great, but I didn't get it, so I can't speak about it. I actually personally really like the Barton. I think it shifts great. It kind of clicks into, into place, if you will. It's significantly shorter on the throws. I think, what's it, like 300 bucks right now? I have no idea. It'll pop up somewhere. But overall, like it's not a bad mod. It really does feel good when you shift. It kind of gives you that confidence and it's a, a great improvement over stock. So if you're looking at a budget, this was already my suggestion here. Now let's say the Barton just wasn't cutting for you or you have way too much money to spend. So you're thinking about the MGW. Well, we got one for you to look at. This is the MGW. This is the something. I don't remember which one exactly it is. It's not the most aggressive one that they have. It's kind of like the second most aggressive. So the throws are significantly shorter. This one, also being so expensive, I think it's around $500, doesn't reuse the stock shift linkage. It has its own mounting bracket to the, to the transmission. This right here is the shifting mount bracket linkage thing that the MGW uses. It is a solid chunk of stuff. In here is the little actual like connector thing that goes into the transmission that makes it shift and whatnot. I'm not gonna open that right now, but this would be similar to this. Like you just see the difference there. Like this, that's some high quality beef right there. This is like 300 bucks, something like that. So if you're looking to go the extra mile, you have money to spend, or you're just crazy, the MGW I think would be freaking perfect. The shifts are silk buttery smooth. So other than the giant price changes in this, like $200, a big jump, they, they do slightly feel different. They feel slightly different. Uh, like I said, the, the Barton will like kind of click into place, if you will. The MUW I found kind of throws itself into place. You kind of have to push a little bit and then it just jumps into gear. This one will make it click when you're in gear. Both of them, I feel are great. And the only reason we upgraded to the MGW is because we upgraded our transmissions to the Calimer Stage 2 and Stage 3 transmissions, and we had some issues with compatibility with our Barton. Calimer says that they this issue is pretty common for them, uh, and that they just don't recommend Barton. If you're looking to get an upgraded transmission, you might want to go ahead and not waste the money on Barton, and go ahead and get the MGW. It's compatible with the stock transmission as well. Overall, I think this is better. <clears throat> I think the MGW is a better shifter, but is it worth the 200 extra dollars, I don't know. If you're gonna go with that transmission, like I said, I would go ahead and opt for the MGW, don't even get the Barton. But if you don't care about getting an upgraded transmission, the Barton's, Barton's gonna do you just fine, in my opinion. Barton has never done me any wrong until we put those transmissions in. The Barton is crisp, shifts good, short, Mm, feels good. The MGW feels amazing too. Like it's 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 tip the spear, if you will. If you'd like to see me do an install video on the MGW of a very quick one, we installed uh, the most aggressive MGW shifter on Casper. Check that video out. The car will be somewhere up there. If you want a super detailed, lengthy video on how to install 
the MGW, and a Stage 3 caliber transmission, uh, MC82. That'll be coming out very shortly. If it's already out, the card will be up there somewhere. You click on that. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, found any of this information useful, and you like Batman, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to. It's completely free. You can always change your mind later. And make sure to check out my future videos on that freaking shifter thing. Deuces.